A little jab with a big promise. Australian researcher Edward O'Neill was one of the first volunteers to be injected with a vaccine that could change the world if it works. It seems like the right thing to do to uh, ensure that we can uh, you know, combat this disease and get over it a lot faster. A process that normally takes years has taken just three months for researchers at Oxford University who are part of a global race to find a vaccine. They were aided by Australian scientists at the CSIRO who conducted early stage testing. Personally, I, I'm very optimistic it's going to work. There's absolutely no suggestion we're going to start using this vaccine in a wider population before we've demonstrated that it actually works and stops getting people infected with coronavirus. Half the participants will be given the real vaccine, the other half will get a substitute, but they won't know which group they're in. And none of them will be deliberately exposed to the potentially deadly virus, so scientists will have to wait for volunteers to catch it. We could know whether the vaccine works in as little as a few months, but it could take six months or more, and it so much depends on what happens with transmission of the virus here in the UK. It can't come soon enough for frontline workers who've again won the gratitude of millions or for the vulnerable, especially in care homes, which according to the World Health Organisation could account for half the deaths in Europe. A vaccine remains the best way to get us all out of this situation and out of our houses. Here in the UK, the warnings are becoming increasingly grim about how long social distancing measures could be kept in place. Possibly for the rest of this year, and maybe even beyond. And that's why talk of lifting the lockdown as if it's a flick of a switch moment is misguided. And so it's up to science to try to find a solution. The work of these researchers has never been more important. Nick Dole, ABC News, London.